Welcome to our December 2020 virtual honors and awards celebration for the College of Education and Human Development. During this time, the support of your friends, families, and our community is invaluable. In the face of uncertainty, you, our students, have shown enormous fortitude and perseverance. We know this would not be possible without the encouragement of your support systems. I am so proud of the persistence, flexibility, and compassion you have shown. The faculty and staff of the CEHD are thrilled to present our students with academic awards and honor their outstanding achievements. Sharing in our students' success and academic accomplishments is one of the things that we enjoy most. I would also like to recognize faculty members of CEHD's Honors and Scholarship Committee who worked with each department in selecting students for the awards. Chairperson, Dr. John Finch, Department of Special Education, Early Childhood and Prevention Science. Ms. Samantha Morris, Department of Elementary, Middle and Secondary Teacher Education. Dr. Ishwanzia Rivers, Department of Educational Leadership, Evaluation, and Organizational Development. Dr. Brooke Rappaport, Department of Counseling and Human Development. Mr. Ben Skutnik, Department of Health and Sports Sciences. And ex officio, Dr. Margaret Pentecost, Assistant Dean of Graduate Student Success. Congratulations to you our students, for your outstanding accomplishments and for choosing the University of Louisville's College of Education and Human Development to complete your degree. As we begin presenting awards and honors, please remember you are able to share congratulations, well wishes, and memories in the chat box. A recording of this award ceremony will be available on our awards website within 72 hours and all award and honors winners will be emailed the link so that you can share with your family and friends. Please also note that the program for this event may be found on the website for the virtual honors and awards ceremony. I will begin by recognizing our honors graduates from the Department of Health and Sports Sciences. Graduates who are receiving an award as well as graduating with honors will be recognized separately. Magna Cum Laude graduates, Kyle Beasley, Clinton Hunter, William Hirschman, Gabrielle Cusales, Emily Mueller, Sophie Underdahl. Cum Laude graduates, Abigail Castor, Emina Ekich, Lindsay Duvall, Michael Horner, Dana Kinnaird, Kristen Lynch, Jordan Stumpf, Diana Wong, Rachel Wolf. Congratulations to all of our graduates who have received these academic honors. The following graduates have been selected to receive awards from the HSS department. Amanda Ruzich, cum laude and outstanding undergraduate student in exercise science award winner. Jeremy Miller, magna cum laude and outstanding undergraduate student in sport administration award winner. Ryan Fleming, cum laude an outstanding undergraduate student in sport administration award winner. Morgan Everett, cum laude, an outstanding undergraduate student in sport administration award winner. Treshawn Shamar Smith, outstanding undergraduate student in sport administration award winner. The Cheryl E. Brockmeyer award winner and Joseph R. Tribu Award winner. Priscilla Calvo Castillo, Outstanding Graduate Student Award in Sport Administration. 
Neil Mitchell Hall III, cum laude, John Heldman Academic Achievement Award winner, and the Clark F. Wood Award winner. Taylor Lynch, Cheryl E. Brockmeyer Award winner. William Robert Hirschman, magna cum laude, and the Ellis J. Mendelssohn Award winner. Congratulations to our amazing students in the Department of Health and Sports Sciences. Next, I will present the awards for the Department of Counseling and Human Development. Karen Chinway Itigo, Outstanding Graduate in Counseling Psychology. Eric Dontre Turner, Outstanding Student in College Student Personnel Program and Ron Denny College Student Personnel Peer Leader Award. Lindsay Jo Holer, Outstanding Student in School Counseling Program. Caroline Frances Dealey, Outstanding Student in Mental Health Counseling Program. Faith Ladria Keen Turner, College Student Personnel Program Excellence in Scholarship Award. Emily Diane Grubbs, College Student Personnel Excellence in Scholarship Award. Congratulations to our amazing students in the Department of Counseling and Human Development. Next, I will present the awards for the Department of Educational Leadership, Evaluation, and Organizational Development. I will begin by recognizing our students who are graduating with honors, graduates who are receiving an award as well as graduating with honors will be recognized separately. Summa cum laude graduates, Edward Abel, Jeffrey Bridges, Sarah Norris, Lisa Pantoja. Magna cum laude graduates, Michael Haynes, Amanda Harris, Portia Thompson, Courtney Wright, Amber Yerk. Cum laude graduates, Michael O'Kiss, Paxton Gordon, Michael Stelmar, Chris Vlaho. The following graduates have been selected to receive awards from the Department of Educational Leadership, Evaluation, and Organizational Development. Dr. Rajwinder Carr, Outstanding Doctorate of Education Student Award winner. Dr. Famisha McPherson Jones, Outstanding Doctorate of Education Student Award winner. Daniel Patrick Pike, Outstanding Education Specialist Student Award winner. Dr. Catherine Merges House, Blake Hazelton Community Change Agent Award winner. April Ann Waddell, Outstanding Master of Arts Student in Higher Education Administration Award winner. Nathaniel Bruce Goldsmith, Outstanding Master of Arts Student in Higher Education Administration Award winner. Brandon Robert Fleming, Outstanding Military Student in Higher Education Award winner. Din Bu Tat, Outstanding Military Student in Higher Education Award winner. Mary Alice Bledsaw, Outstanding Organizational Leadership and Learning Student Award winner. Jessica Heath Algram, Malcolm S. Knowles Award in Organizational Leadership and Learning winner. Yoselin Doyle, Organizational Leadership and Learning 
Community Engagement Award winner. Sean Michael McCauley, the Christopher Fry Military Learner Award in Organizational Leadership and Learning winner. Sarah Catherine Yop, Resilience Award in Organizational Leadership and Learning winner. Amber Marcel Walsh, Human Resource Education Community Engagement Award winner. Laura Lohman, the R. Wayne Pace Award in Human Resource Education winner. Chad David Clautier, the Sheila D. Bridgman Student Collegiality Award winner. Congratulations to all our students in the Department of Educational Leadership, Evaluation, and Organizational Development. Next, I will present awards for Special Education, Early Childhood, and Prevention Science. We will recognize our honors graduates first. If a student is graduating with honors and receiving an award, they will be recognized separately. Summa Cum Laude graduate, Tara Height. Magna Cum Laude graduate, Hannah Thomas. Cum Laude graduates, Alyssa Clark, Kiana Davey, Megan Cliffot, Melanie McHenry, Haley Quillen. Emily Treadway, Brenna Wesley. The following students are receiving awards from the Special Education, Early Childhood and Prevention Science Department. Alexis Nicole Brock, summa cum laude and outstanding undergraduate student in early childhood education. Peyton Cassidy Dozer, Summa cum laude, an outstanding undergraduate student in early childhood education. Caitlin Elizabeth Minogue, cum laude, an outstanding undergraduate student in learning and behavior disorders. Ruth Julia Okafi Hertrick, summa cum laude, outstanding undergraduate student in moderate and severe disabilities and Delta Zeta Award in Special Education in honor of Julia Hill Sakura. Kayla Brooke Kendall, outstanding undergraduate student in moderate and severe disabilities. Ashley Ann Davis, magna cum laude, an outstanding student teacher in early childhood education. Brittany Lacey Jackson, Outstanding Student Teacher in Elementary Education. Kayla Jean Wilson, cum laude, an Outstanding Student Teacher in Elementary Education. Victoria Marie Jones, Outstanding Student Teacher in Elementary Education. Kendall Perry Shook, summa cum laude, an Outstanding Student Teacher in learning and behavior disorders. Brittany Marie Nelson, outstanding student teacher in moderate and severe disabilities. Abigail Jean Rogers, outstanding master of education student in interdisciplinary early childhood education. Savannah Neese, outstanding graduate student in Applied Behavior Analysis. Paige Allen Graham, cum laude, an Outstanding Professional Disposition Award in Moderate and Severe Disabilities. Julianne Elizabeth Hummel, summa cum laude, and Outstanding Professional Disposition Award in Learning and Behavior Disorders. Taylor Wilson Webb, Delta Zeta Award in Special Education in honor of Gladys George Corley. Congratulations 
to all the students in the Department of Special Education, Early Childhood and Prevention Science. We are proud of your hard work and determination. I will now present awards to the students in the Department of Elementary, Middle, and Secondary Teacher Education. Graduates who are receiving an award, as well as graduating with honors, will be recognized separately. Magna Cum Laude graduates, Annie Bird, Evan Parton, Cum Laude graduates, Samantha Casey, the following graduates have been selected to receive awards from the Department of Elementary, Middle, and Secondary Teacher Education. Ashley Ann Davis, magna cum laude and outstanding undergraduate in elementary education. Olivia Lauren Heyer, cum laude and outstanding undergraduate in elementary education. Megan LaDonna Roberts, magna cum laude and outstanding undergraduate in middle grades. Taylor Marie Dyfel, cum laude and outstanding undergraduate in middle grades. Lauren Brooke Anderson, cum laude and outstanding undergraduate in secondary education. Elizabeth Sarah Ward, Summa cum laude, an outstanding undergraduate in secondary education. Braxton Hall, outstanding master of education, student, teacher leader. Samantha Bennett, advanced program endorsement, outstanding student. Summer Smith, advanced program endorsement, outstanding student. Congratulations to our amazing students in the Department of Elementary, Middle, and Secondary Teacher Education. I will now present certificates to the graduates participating in the Multicultural Teacher Recruitment Program. Toby Denise Brown, Bachelor of Science, Early Elementary Education. Graduate Dean Citations are awarded to Master's and Doctoral students recommended by the Department faculty in recognition of their superior accomplishment in graduate studies beyond the achievement of a high grade point average. For December 2020, we have one recipient. Wei Xiao Lin. Congratulations to Dr. Lin. Prior to each commencement ceremony, the College of Education and Human Development selects a graduating student to represent the college as our outstanding graduate and banner bearer. Faculty in the college nominate deserving students and the final selection is made by the Honors and Scholarship Committee. Students are selected based upon academic performance and service to both the university and to the community. Our outstanding graduate and banner bearer for December 2020 is Ruth Julia Okafi Hertrick, graduating summa cum laude with a Bachelor of Science in Early Elementary Education. And now, Ruth will share a few words with us about her journey at the University of Louisville and what she's looking forward to in the future. Hello, my name is Ruth Hertrick. Um, I'm a recent graduate of this department, which is crazy to say. Um, I want to say thank you to the Department of Education and Human Development for giving me these kind awards and allowing me um, a little chance to speak on my time in this program. I was drawn towards this major in education, uh, more specifically in moderate to severe disability, based on my driving belief that education can be transformative when it's done with passion, um, with all of that evidence backed behind it, practice technique, and of course, a love for the profession in general. 
Um, it's really rewarding to experience this transformation as a learner myself um, through a lot of guidance um, by professors, especially people like Dr. Walty and Dr. Finch. Uh, being a part of their classrooms gives you those moments when you're filled with that feeling you experience when your mind is growing and you feel yourself changing and you know you're going to take that information and use it in action. My goal is to provide a really similar transformation um, for my future students um, to create those aha moments where they understand uh, how things work, why things are the way they are, um, and how they're going to carry their new knowledge with them as they continue to grow. There have always been challenges um, along the way with this program um, as they're expected to be. Um, it's hard to be a part of a university and a department that's lacking in diversity. Um, I spent a good amount of time fighting off a little bit of imposter syndrome, feeling like there wasn't a place for me in my cohort. And as I began to build confidence in my studies and what I would call my future profession, uh, these fears slowly started to move out of my head but are never fully gone. I think it's really important that um, as teachers who are going to be in really incredibly diverse environments, that our program keeps in comp constant conversation of race, racism, sexuality, ableism, and other sociological factors that impact student identity, both for our future students and the students within the department. I hope that in the near future, um, the department will begin to train teachers in anti-racist practices um, and engage in more uncomfortable conversations so that we're all better prepared to serve um, all student populations. Uh, COVID-19 and NTI definitely threw a wrench into the student teaching experience, and I wouldn't really change it. Um, I think it definitely helps build those skills of flexibility as a teacher and um, kind of made me feel stronger in using the technology that we can use now um, for education. And COVID definitely pointed out um, a lack of resources that exist for families and students, both in lower and higher education. Um, if we do want education to hold this transformative nature, then I hope that COVID and NTI will help us better transform inclusion and access to educational resources and access to rights across the United States or at the very least in the state of Kentucky. I'm really excited and nervous and hopeful about my future in education. Um, it's weird entering this field uh, at the moment that we're existing in, but I'm looking forward to making mistakes and hopefully laughing along the way and not taking it too serious, but also taking it really serious at the same time. Um, I chose this path, I chose education of students with moderate to severe disability in order to give voice to individuals who are limited in their opportunities and access to educational rights. And now I'm tasked with really making this happen in my future classrooms. I now get to provide my future students with inclusive education that is represented to them by hopefully someone who looks like them, um, someone who understands their needs, and who will always challenge them and most importantly believe them uh, believe in them and hold them to high expectations i really appreciate um, this department for guiding me and providing me the tools that i need to pursue my dream so thank you all at this time i would like to remind you all that the breakout sessions will take place following the ceremony please refer to the link for the department celebrations in the Q&A chat for the, from the live ceremony. Once you click on this link, it will take you to the Honors and Awards website where you may select the Department Celebration link. Thank you for joining us this evening and go Cards!